What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Perseverance photo. It's a little earlier. It's about mm, Sal 199. Now, the reason why I grabbed this photo is because I was kind of questioning it. Like, what was the purpose of the rover taking this photo? We know that they're here to take scientific photos of any interest. And yet, when you see it from the nav cam, you just go, but there's nothing in there. It's completely void of anything. Or is it? Let's have a closer look and you'll see what I'm talking about. And you can see right here is the Mars Perseverance SAW 199 rear right hazard avoidance camera, right? Or the HazCam. And of course, you can download it as usual right here. And you can see the description right here is NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image of the area in back of it using its onboard rear right hazard avoidance camera. This image was acquired on September 11, 2021 at a local mean solar time of 1526 or 326 p.m. Image credit goes to NASA and JPL Caltech. Now, as I said earlier, why are they taking a photo of absolutely nothing? What's with the wheel marks? Or did it actually take a photo of something? By looking at this photo, you would say, absolutely not. Let's just jump right to Photoshop and see if there's anything there. Notice how there happens to be space right between these rocks. You can see the actual wheel marks, right? Just happens to be perfect amount of space for that rover to get through. I've always questioned, because many times, we've seen what looks like fake wheel marks. Are these fake or not? Let's just jump right into it a little closer. Now, first thing I noticed was this little piece right here. You have what looks like a small squared bracket with a hole in the center. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right there. Let's get a little bit closer. Right there. But then there's a cutoff and it's got all of this weird texture going on okay back up a little bit slide to the left and we see this other object right here now is it nothing more than stone i don't know that's got a weird look to that folks what do you think all this area around this you can see that's been manipulated and look how bright the photo is i mean really now when i looked at this area right here i'm saying is this just something that's doing this kind of overlapping itself or is it something that's doing this okay see it's like a cutout type thing and you have something that looks like it's kind of doing the same thing to right there and i'm going hmm okay again everything's brightened up all you see is these wheel marks and that's it we know that this rover is on borrowed time right folks so why are they just taking random photos of just absolutely nothing but the wheel marks well i got news for you it's not just wheel marks notice this other stuff here in the back now, all you see is basically just weird little shapes. You don't see much of anything, right? But have a closer look. If we were to zoom into this, notice how we have something right here. We can see this edge of this darkened area, but all of a sudden, nothing. It stops. Does it? No. It actually goes like this. You can see it going like this and then back up. Hmm. What could that possibly be? So they're literally taking the lines and any kind of shadows out of these photos. It's as simple as that. All right. Put it in the center here. Now I'll tell you what caught my attention. This right here, I thought maybe, well, it's probably nothing more than just one of these little wispy dunes type thing. And of course you can see where it actually climbed over it and so on and so forth, okay? Right there, you can see the actual marks, okay? Back up a little bit. Let's go step by step. Now, first of all, we got rid of this orangey reddish filter and we started to break it down. Now, let's have a closer look. I'm starting to see shapes in here, folks. I'm starting to see something right here. I'm seeing inside something going like this into this other wheel mark. I'm seeing this right here, another line right here. You can see it going down like this. I'm starting to see a fade of some kind of line up here. There is something on here in the back. You can see it right here. It looks like it's doing this right there. Something way back here, some other items. Okay, so let's just go slowly through this and I'm gonna take you through each step, okay? We're gonna enhance it more and more. Suddenly, objects are starting to stand up, folks. It's not just a flat ground. Keep going, okay? 
Now notice the colors that are in here because this is different levels of manipulation, right? Notice this little piece all of a sudden now has a small line going around it right here. What is the deal with that? And we can still see that piece sticking up with a round circle in it. That to me is some kind of bracket. That's what it reminds me of. Notice these other lines now right here. See that? Suddenly this piece right here doesn't look like some wispy dune, right? Almost looks squarish in nature. So let's keep going. So this time what I did was I took some of the saturation out. And again, you can see these weird shapes in here. Notice the lines. You can look at these here as we go along. I'm going to back it up one step and then go forward. Notice the shapes. Okay. Notice the lines right here. Backing it up. Bring up the lighter parts we see. This is the other thing I wanted to show you too. I didn't mention in the very beginning. This right here in the lower left, we got this rock right here. What's with this oval opening? What is that? If you look closely, and I'm going to put this in the center of the photo, right here. Let's zoom into that. Notice how we have this line right here going like this, going up and around, coming back down, going like this. We got this other line next to this, but we have this oval opening. What is the deal with that? We got something down here. Bottom, center. Okay, let's go back to the original. Again, what's with the oval? If we were to go back to just getting the color off, check this out. You can see this pretty darn clearly. There's something round underneath this, right there, with this small circle. And again, this piece right here. Okay. Let's resume where we were at. Now, if we back up, notice this looks like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. But is it? If we look at this, we can see what looks like this piece here. And then pieces underneath it, like this multi-layered something or other. Notice how this white piece right here in the center. I'll put it more in the center in a second. Right here. You can see this white piece doing this, going down, and it still continues to go up, but it's tan in color. If you notice that, right here, and I'm just going to circle around it, but right there, it still continues to go up like this. See that? I've seen this a million times. Now, this is two things going on. One, there's a bunch of parts laying here. Two, it almost looks like a miniature city with stuff overlapping. Now, of course, that's purely speculative on any of this but you get what I'm saying. Look at the shapes that are lying in here. Now, let's jump over to the right-hand side where it looked like nothing at all. Let's go ahead and rotate this. Now, let's bring it down. Zoom in a little bit. Check this out. Here's that pot I was telling you about. It came down with the shadow and then stopped. No, it did not. There's something still there. Right there. And you can see something looks like it's got a straight edge right here, but check that out. What are we seeing here? And if you come down to this part right here, I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Check this thing out. Just see the little tip of it right here, but it's doing this. It appears to be going up like this. We have this opening to this thing. And I'm going to put this in black and white in a moment. Right there. It's kind of weird design type thing going like this. It's actually more a little pronounced like that. Have something coming down is doing this. This to me is not natural at all. We can see that. This right here. The more you look at this, you can see things like this here. Looks like a pipe right there. You can see things in the manipulation right here. Right there. Just weird objects laying here. This is a false background. Let me tell you why. When you look at this part right here, you can see where this thing goes back. In other words, you're not going to see just a quarter of this item. So what is going on here? You can see where I try to bring out anything that was white in this background. Check that out. This is, again, is a false background. There's much more to this photo. They're just overlaying this stuff in here, in my opinion, of course. Now, let's go black and white. And like I said, we got a little bit more out of this area here. You can see things that are underneath the manipulation. You can see the shapes of them coming out. And yet we cannot see them, of course. Let's have a look again at this main area. 
Okay? Again, just this area alone. It looks like there's things over other pieces, things underneath. Check that out, folks. What are we looking at? Now, a lot of this, some people say, why can't we see this really clear? Because you weren't supposed to, right? It's being hidden. Now, remember, the first question was, are these wheel marks actually real? Well, guess what? Up to this point, they are. Notice where it stops, right here, okay? Yes, they are absolutely real, up to this point. That's it. See it? This, I believe, is fake. Judging by what we've just seen here in this photo, this is where they ended. Now, a lot of you folks would question, but why don't they go over and take a look at this junk laying around? Well, there's your answer. They did, they drove right up to it, used the turret arm, and probably reached over the top of this stuff and looked at it with great detail with the camera at the end of it. And that's what we're seeing. These rocks, like I said, on the left-hand side, absolute garbage, look at that. Even in the original right there. Look. You should not see that, folks, come on. So the sun's behind the rover, or I should say the rover's facing the sun. And you can see the shadow of said rover. So why aren't these all washed out with sunlight like these are? It doesn't make sense. But here's the other kicker, folks. Take off this orangey kind of reddish color, whatever, and it's actually a blue sky, folks. Check that out. This is more realistic. This is what Photoshop sees right there. Get rid of the colors. And again, these objects right here in the lower right. That thing there. Seriously, I'm seeing parts laying around right in front of this rover, and they want you to believe that there's nothing there. This makes more sense then seeing this photo here, and there's nothing to see. What would be the point of taking this photo? It simply doesn't make sense. Pause it here for the black and white. Pause it here for the color. There you go, folks. Folks, like I said, you have to question these particular photos, right? It's looking at it with the nav cam behind the rover, looking back at wheel marks. What was the point? For no good reason? That makes no sense to me. Well, after enhancing that, there's a bunch of junk laying all over the ground, and I believe all those rocks that look painted over and whatever else, that there is false, and that there's manipulation all over those rocks. Same thing we see on the right-hand side, everything in the background there. Absolutely not natural. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, more moon coming up and more Mars. Wait until you see some more of these. These are crazy. Stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.